I mean, I was nervous before today. So now, like, looking forward to getting to opening day. I think that's exciting. Thank you. Your next question comes from Ed Coleman. Uh, hey, Jake. Uh, two questions. One, um, did you like the way you finished a couple of strikeouts to, to finish that way? Yeah. Um, yeah, I did. Uh, there, it was just – that was fastball location, I think. Uh, I gave up the double on a slider, and then I was like, you know what, I'm just going to work on uh, hitting my spot with a fastball because even the first inning, uh, I was letting some sail. I think I was a little quick to plate. So that next inning, um, you know, me and James uh, stuck to the to locating the fastball. And also, uh, a lot of times on the road last year, you you didn't have a lead when you went to the mound. I, I just wondered when you look at this lineup and what it can possibly do, what what your thoughts are going into the season? Yeah, it's exciting. Um, you know, I said that in my first one. You look around the locker room and look at these names, and and uh, I, I think we're going to be good. Uh, everybody in here has a, the same goal, and that's to win a World Series. So uh, these guys have been fun to be around and looking forward to playing all 162 of them and, and hopefully going and win a World Series. Thanks. Your next question comes from Deesha Thosar. Hey, Jake, just first time throwing to McCann in a game. Are you guys kind of on the same page by now, or you need maybe a few more games to, to really solidify it? Um, I've had a lot of talks with James about uh, kind of what I want to do. So uh, the transition has been pretty smooth. Um, you know, I'm big on reading swings and, 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 you know, having a game plan going in, but then, you know, what's going on out there, let that dictate kind of what you do. So um, he did a good job of that today. Like we were talking after that double I gave up, he was like, hey, you know, nobody's on time with a fastball. So we stuck with that and really worked on just locating it. And what did you feel about uh, Lindor's defense behind you? That's nice. Uh, you know, great baseball player, fun to watch and, you know, excited to have him behind me. Thanks. Your next question comes from Ken Davidoff. Hey, Jake, I think you've, you've been asked before about your uh, the increase in four-seam fastball velocity every year since 2017. What is your uh, explanation for that? And do you monitor that? How closely do you monitor that? Um, I th explanation, that's tough. Um, you know, if I knew how to keep increasing it, I think I would keep trying to increase it <laughs> even more. So uh, I honestly think that it's being more comfortable in my delivery. Uh, I threw it last time I... My first live and my um, second live I threw, I didn't feel like it. And instantly I could tell that I was a little off. So I think it's like, it, for me, it was really learning my delivery and being able to repeat that. And for me, it's trying to stay as smooth as I can on the mound. And do you think you've, you've kind of stopped throwing the sinker in recent years? Do you, do you, is there any correlation there between a you know, harder four-seamer and not using the two-seamer? Or is that, that one has nothing to do with the other? Uh. I don't really like the two scene. Uh, the last four I've thrown, three have been home runs. So <laughs> that's why I quit throwing it. <laughs> Fair enough. Thanks, Jake. Your next question comes from Justin Descano. Hey, Jake. Matt Allen told us a, about a week ago that you told him about your piece of advice is like to not overcomplicate things. What in your career do you think you started simplifying things like that on the mound? Um. Ah, uh, let's see. Probably going into 2018, um, I got to where I was watching a bunch of video and I was having the best year of my career. And I was looking at video from like 2015. And then um, at that time we had Dave Island and he said, you're pitching the best you've ever pitched in your career. Why are you looking at this? And then like that registered with me, like, hey, I am like overthinking this, like doing, trying to do too much. And, um, you know, it's, it's, you try to stick with what, what works for you. Come up with a routine and try to stay with that and, and not do too much and not, you know, make sure you find something that works for you. So uh, that was my thing uh, that could help me out. And from outing, you know, one of the spring to the next one to the third one, what sorts of things are you watching for in yourself going forward? Uh, it's always just for me working on location of every pitch. Um, and like I said, in the first inning, I was sailing some fastballs high and then, you know, that last inning was really trying to just see the glove and hit it. Thank you. Your next question comes from Tim Healy. Hey, Jacob, two quick ones. When you're coming off the field after your second inning, it looked like you were having a laugh with, with McCann or, or, or somebody. I was just curious what 
uh, what that was in regards to. Oh, I was I saw Jackson. He was waving to me, so oh, I gave him a wave and smiled at him. That's awesome. And, uh, <laughs> that's great. And, and then on the opening day note, um, the only pitchers in Mets history to start three opening days or more in a row are Johan, uh, Dwight Gooden, and Tom Seaver. I was just, you know, obviously being with listed with names like that isn't new to you anymore, but what does this particular uh, one mean, mean to you, if, if anything? Yeah, I mean, any time that you get the nod for opening day is a huge honor. And I've said it before, if I'm, every, every time I've mentioned with those guys, it, it, it's, it's an honor as well. Um, you know, it's, I, I go out there and, and try to have fun and compete at the best of my ability. And, and, you know, main things having fun playing this game. And you're mentioned with guys like that. It, it truly is an honor. And, um, you know, it's something that I try not to think too much about, like I said, trying to keep things simple, but, um, you know, the more it's mentioned, I guess you start thinking about it. So it definitely is a cool thing. Thank you. Your next question comes from Mike Puma. Hey, Jake. Uh, Louie mentioned uh, in your uh, simulated game last Monday, things uh, got, got got a little heated with Conforto. How, how would you describe uh, the, that confrontation? Heated? <laughs> well, I might have been heated. I don't know if Conforto was. Um, no, he had a good day. What was funny about that is I saw he wasn't on the list, and I said, Conforto, you're not going to – what do you want your birthday off? You're not going to come out there and try to face me. And he uh, gave me a little humble pie there. <laughs> what did he do? He hit a home run? He hit two. Two. <laughs> that was one of the two seamers that sink. <laughs> so, yeah, it was. And then he wasn't going to take that last at bat. The one he hit the second home run on, he's like, I'm done. I said, get back in here one more time. And he hit it one more time. <laughs> I guess I got my last four. <laughs> Your final question comes from Anthony DiComo. So I just put my hand down. I was going to ask about the Conforto thing too. So thank you. Jacob, thank you very much for your time. That's All right. Thanks, guys. Members of the media, stand by for future Mets guests.